Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be going over day six today. We're gonna to work our core from every single angle, a bunch of different positions. We're gonna have so much fun getting stronger and more mobile through our core. It's gonna help us stay safe when we're doing other activities, self prevent injuries, and help us keep feeling our most and most awesome with no matter what, no matter what we happen to be doing at the time, whatever adventures we decide to get ourselves in. So let's have some fun and let's work hard and let's get started right now. All right, so let's start. We're gonna be doing everything for a minute, just one set here to warm up. We're gonna be in a squat, ready, and squat, and twist, super important to crunch there. Squat, twist, squat, one, two, three, up, hands to the floor. Stretch the hammies, super important we stretch those, and back to the squat, ready, squat, crunch, squat, crunch, squat, one, two, Three, up, and down, stretch, and down. One more time, ready, up, crunch, squat, crunch, squat, one, two, three, up, and down, stretch. Hold this one a little longer. The looser those hamstrings are, the better we can work our abs when we move our legs into our body. And that's gonna make the movements more effective for us. Four, three, two, and down to the floor, perfect. All right, from our knees, we're gonna start working through our core and warming up our upper body for this too. So we're gonna be at a table. I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna step out, out, out pretty far. And when I'm here, I'm gonna to try to stay where I am. I'm gonna to try to press into my toes, back down my knees, and then step back. And then again, step one, two, as far as we can. Squeeze the quads and feel them connect into our abs. And down. And back. Good, let's do two more. Step, step, step it out. And press. And down. And step it back. One more time, ready, step it out. And press. And back. And relax. And flipping over onto our butts. All right, one more exercise for our warm up round. We're gonna work into a bridge, warming up our hips, adding a crunch at the end too. So we're gonna open and close the knees three times, and then do one crunch, and then go the opposite way. So start about shoulder width apart with the knees. Ready, and lift the hips. We're gonna go open, close, open, hips down, crunch up, and down. Now from here we lift, we go close, open, close, and crunch. And down. A couple more here, ready? Lift, open, close, open, and crunch. Those first bridges of the day feel so amazing. Up, close, open, close, and crunch and relax, perfect, you guys, good. So, we're gonna start on the floor and then move our way up a little bit, do some standing out movements with our second sequence. I picked this one first, because it is gonna have our hardest exercise. We're gonna do a uh, leg raise and an extension with the dumbbell in our feet. So if you haven't done that before, just don't extend all the way. It's a hard movement to do, holding the dumbbell in your feet and controlling it all the way out. So we're gonna do five of those. After that, we're gonna flip it over, grab the dumbbell in our hands, Work with a crunch on a single leg raise, and then like a one leg V-sit, and then we're gonna work our hamstrings on our on our stomachs. Again, working with the dumbbell in our feet. So we're gonna be holding it with our lower body for a lot of this set. So, sitting on the floor to start. We're gonna lay back on our back. That's gonna make it even harder because our abs are gonna be stretched out a little bit. So if you need to, crunch your shoulders up a bit higher, rest on your elbows to give yourself a little more support. There's gonna be two parts of this movement. One is gonna be an extension, the other one is gonna be a crunch. So grip it with the instep, and let's start with our feet, our knees pointed to a 45. Okay, so from here we're gonna extend out, squeeze, bring it back, bring our knees to our chest, crunch, and then back. We're gonna do that four more times. Ready, feel the quads extend, but don't let the knees drop here. Ready, squeeze, hold it, and down, and crunch. And back, ready, extend. And back, and crunch, and back. Two more times, ready, reach. And down, and crunch, and down. Last one, ready. 
ready, extend. Feel the quads and down, knees in and down and let it go. Perfect, now grab it with your hands. We're gonna take about 20 seconds here. It's important we take our rest for working pretty heavy movements with our abs. And we're gonna start with our hands up and we can pull them back to make this a little bit harder. We're doing five reps of everything for this first set. So I'm gonna lift one leg, I'm gonna crunch up with my chest, squeezing into my abs, ready, and let's do it. Up, down, we can pull it back more, but try not to swing. Up, that's one. Down, up, down, up, that's two. Feel that stomach fold you. Up, up, that's three, and up. Gonna be on our stomach, and again, we're gonna grip it with our instep, working into our glutes, lower back, and hamstrings. I love the way this one feels for the whole back of my body. So, I'm gonna lay down on my stomach, make sure you're holding it tight in the instep, resting on your forearms here. All right, five big ones. Try to bring the dumbbell to the floor. Then, I want you to bend your knees to 90 and try to lift, even if it's only a centimeter up off the ground and down, even if it's just trying to lift. Bend, lift. And down, ready, bend, lift, and down. Two more. And down, one more time, bend, lift, and down, and relax. All right, let's take a good 40 seconds here. We're gonna go through that set one more time, and then move on to some one side at a time movements, so work some rotation, and then work into our obliques. Whew. All right. We got about 20 seconds left here. Remember when we work our core here, try to flex the heels out, that's gonna naturally wanna squeeze your quads. And if that leg is engaged in the front, then we're moving that whole piece with our abs. But if we're letting it extend out and keeping the bottom of our leg loose and there's looseness in our leg, we're gonna be wanting to move with our hip flexor and with our quad. And that's when you'll feel those cramps a little bit through our quads. All right, let's do it. Grip that dumbbell. Lay down, shoulders up, don't let the shoulders drop if you can help it. Ready, and extend, squeeze the quads. And back, knees to chest, crunch. And back, ready, extend. And back, knees to chest. And back, ready, three more, reach. And back, knees. And back, that's it, no rush here, extend. Keep that tension, and back, knees to chest. And back, one more time, ready, extend, feel that burn. Back, crunch, and down. Good work, you guys. All right, the single leg V-sit. Try to keep a nice crunch with that upper body. We don't need to get that whole back off the floor here. We just want to find that engagement through our shoulder crunch. Tightening up through the front of our body. All right, let's do it. Pull the arms back more if we can. That's gonna make the crunch harder. Ready, and up, down, up, and down. That's two, five per side here. Up, down, up, that's three. Four, one more time. And down, nice you guys, awesome burn. All right, the hamstring curls, and then we switch it up. Plant it down, make sure you grip it tight, especially my fellows here. Yeah, don't let it slide out, especially when we're at the top. All right, plus that tension is gonna engage the inner thigh and glue it a lot nicer. All right, ready, pull it in, lift, lift. And down, breathe out, ready, breathe in, open. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, lift. And down, two more here, breathe in, lift. And down, breathe in, lift, that's it. And down, good, let it go. Grab some water. Circuit number one, done.
All right. The next ones are going to be for reps two. We're going to keep five reps of everything that we're doing today. That's going to get quite tough. So drop to your knees for some of this stuff and modify as much as you need to keep, keep your technique as solid as possible. So we're going to start in a lunge position with our knee just off the floor and our arms out. Now we're not going to pivot our feet. I want us to work on the rotation and mobility of our core with our shoulders and we're going to be turning the other way too. So we're going to get lots of twisting done through our core. The second exercise, I'm going to take that back leg or the front leg, sorry, is going to be on the floor with the opposite arm. So I'm going to start on my knees. I'm going to breathe in and reach. Now from here, if you guys are comfortable, you can try to press and down. Then we're going to crunch under, squeeze the stomach, and then again, you can try to press up and down. And you're going to feel that through the lower part of your core and through your quad. We're going to do that five times, five reaches and unders. After that, we're going to do a little bit of a bridge with a weighted crunch to work on, uh, again, our hip mobility and our core strength at the same time. All right, standing up, five reps, two times per side. It's going a bit of an angle here, starting with my arms out by my chest. Ready, breathe in. You're gonna breathe out, crunch your stomach and try to bring it all the way to the back foot. Feel that squeeze. Breathe in, come back up. Breathe out, bring it to the chest. Breathe in, twist over the top knee. And then back, that's one, extend. Ready, and breathe out. And up, and in, breathe in, twist. And back, extend out. Ready, breathe out, down. Breathe in, back to the top, breathe out, crunch it in. Breathe in, twist. And out, two more times, ready, down. Up, bring it in, twist. Back, extend it out, last one, down. Up, in, twist. And back, good, lose that weight. So my left leg was in front, my left leg will be on the floor and with my right hand. And when we do this, keep, stay on your knees if you need to, but you can try to press into those long and short movements to find a little more squeeze through our whole body, especially our quad, into our hip flexor and the lower part of our abs. Ready, and breathe in, reach, opposite arm and leg. This is where we try to press. Come back down, breathe out, crunch. And then we try to press again. And down, breathe in, press, down, breathe out, crunch, press, and down. That's two, breathe in, press, down, breathe out, crunch, press, and down. Keep it up, you guys, two more, breathe in, press, and down, breathe out, crunch that stomach, press, and down. One more, breathe in. Press, and down. Breathe out, stay on the ball of your foot if you're pressing here, and down. Good work, you guys. All right, so grab a dumbbell. It stays in the right hand. And we're gonna cross that left foot over our right. So we're pressing up with that right hand, stretching up that hip over here. Ready, and you're gonna breathe in. Keep the dumbbell on your hips if you want more weight for the bridge. You're gonna bridge lift, squeeze the hip, you're gonna come down, now take that dumbbell, you can pull it back even, you're gonna crunch. One, two, and back down. Bridge, lift, hips down, dumbbell up, crunch, one, two, and again, bridge, and down, dumbbell up, one, two, and back down. Two more times, ready, bridge, and down, extend up, ready, one, two, and down, last one, ready, bridge, and down, arms up, crunch, one, two, and down, good, standing back up, time for the other side, right leg forwards, left leg back, try to float that back knee off the floor, and work on turning those shoulders with our core. All right, let's do it. Standing in that lunge, arms out. And breathe out, crunch down to the back leg. Breathe in, breathe out to the chest. Breathe in, twist over the top knee and back. Breathe in, breathe out. And in, pull it 
back twist and back reach it up that's two crunch and up pull it in twist and back extend it out down and up pull it in twist and back reach it up last one down up pull it in twist back and down good job you guys all right so my right leg is back my left hand stays on the floor with my right knee to right foot. Now when you press up, if you're coming to the instep, then we want to make sure we're staying on the ball of the foot and engaging the stomach a bit harder. So stay on your knee for most of them if you feel like you're coming into the instep. Ready, and breathe in, reach, and press, and down. Breathe out, crunch. Press into that lower ab, squeeze. The whole front body is tight, and down. Breathe in, press. Use that hip flexor and quad. Down, breathe out. Press. And down, breathe in. Press. Down, breathe out. Press. And down, two more here, breathe in. Lift. And down, breathe out. Lift. And down, last one, breathe in. Lift. Down, breathe out. Lift and down. Oof. Love that one. All right, on my back. Dumbbell in the right hand. Left hand, sorry. Right foot crossed over and dumbbell on the hips. Ready? Bridge. Lift. Down. Extend out. Crunch. One. Two. And back down. Bridge. Hips down. Lift it up. One. Two and down. Three more. Ready? Lift. Feel that back body. Down. Extend up. One. Two. And down. That's it. Ready? Lift. Down. Arm up. Two. And last one. Lift. And down. Arms up. One. Two. And down. Good work, you guys. We're doing one more set per side. Let's try to keep the reps at five. But if it feels like it's a bit much, then we can always take one off, even take two off. Technique is the most important part. You're gonna get more out of three perfect reps than you are out of five if you're not using the right part of your body to do the exercise, which is totally okay. So build slowly with the proper technique. You will see results faster. All right, ready. Left leg forward, right knee floats off the ground. Let's do it. One more set. Extend it out. And breathe out. Crunch to the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twist to the top. And breathe out. Breathe in. Down. Up. Last one, crunch. And down, good. Ooh. All right, right hand down, left leg down. Let's do it, this one is a doozy. Ready, and breathe in, reach, press. And down, breathe out, crunch. Press, and down, breathe in. Press, and down, breathe out. Press, and down, looking good, breathe in. Press, down, breathe out. Lift, and down, two more, breathe in. Lift, down, breathe out. Lift, down, last one, breathe in. And breathe out, crunch. Down, good work, you guys. Ooh, on our back, dumbbell in the right hand. Cross the left over, and dumbbell on the hip. Ready, and bridge. Hips down, reach it up. One, two, and down, bridge. Down, lift it up. One, two, and down, keep it up. And last 
last one. Two, and relax, all right, standing up. Let's finish the other side. And get to work some nice juicy, juicy obliques. Maybe my favorite body part to work. All right, right leg forwards, left knee floating off the floor, and arms out, chest level, ready, and breathe out. guys. All right. Take a couple of breaths. We're going to work some obliques starting standing up. After that, we're going to work from a table, really working through our hip and finding a nice crunch. And then we're going to finish with a little side to side with the dumbbell and begin to do a side plank again to strengthen through our whole side body from lat all the way down through our IT band. Super important how everything connects there. Want to be strong, strong, strong from the outside of our body. <sighs> Super important. All right, so standing up. We're going to do a little side bend, but we're going to make it harder and stretchier by doing a little step with it too. Now, our muscles are always at their weakest, at their longest, longest point. So I like to make sure every movement goes to its fullest expression. So I'm strengthening through that long, long movement. It's going to help prevent injuries, keep me mobile and functional, and it's also going to give me way better results with how my muscles are uh, responding to my workouts here. So, my one arm hangs, I'm gonna do just a basic oblique crunch. So I'm gonna lean to the side, find a nice stretch here, but then I'm gonna step behind with the opposite leg to get even more stretch. Breathe in, I'm gonna step back, and then crunch my shoulders down to the side. One, lean, step, lean more, and two. And again, step, lean, and three. All right, lean bigger, and four. One more time, step, lean, and five. And down, drop the weight. All right, so working from a table, gonna get a little bit of hip movement here, working through my glute, inner thigh, and finishing with the oblique crunch. So I'm in my hands and knees, lifting up my right leg, because that's the side I crunch to. Gonna go up high and over, try to bring it right to the floor if you can see it back there. I'm gonna lift it up and then crunch it to the side of my body. And then again, up 
and over. Up and crunch. Now I want to try to extend as soon as I can to work the core even harder. Up and over. Up and crunch. Two more. Ready? Extend. Up and over. Up and crunch. Last one. Extend. Up and over. Up and crunch. And relax. Good. So now I'm on my elbows. I'm going to go side to side, open on my right side, hold my hips up for a second with the dumbbell, raising it up. So the dumbbell starts between my hands. <sighs> Five big ones, ready. Hips go to the left for me, to the right, open side plank, extend. Lift those hips high, and down. And again, one, two, open, and down. And again, one, two, open, and down. Two, open. That's four. One more time. Two, open. And down. Good work, you guys. Whew. Working the other side. All right. Pick up that dumbbell. So now it's going to hang in my right hand, which means I'm going to crunch my left side. Just kind of keep that in mind when I'm working the obliques here. I want to compound every movement on top, on top, and on top other than working the opposite like we did earlier. Okay, we want everything working the same side for the whole set. Ready, lean, step, lean some more. Feel that stretch, and then start to crunch, and finish that nice tight crunch. Ready, step, lean, and start the side crunch. And again. Three, step, and four. Imagine bringing your left hand to your left foot over back and crunch and down. Perfect. All right, these are absolutely awesome in our table. Whew, let's do it. Five big ones. Ready? Lift, cross over, try to touch the floor across. Lift and crunch the shoulder. Now extend as soon as you can. Feel that squeeze. Up and over, up and crunch, two, extend, over, up, squeeze, three, two more times, extend, over, up, squeeze, four, up, and over, almost lost count, it feels so good, and crunch, and down, good, dumbbell in the middle, <sighs> ready, and hips to the right, to the left, open, extend, high, hold, and down, side, one, open, two, lift, and down, keep it up, side, side, lift, and down, two more, side, side, lift, and down, last one. side and then I got an awesome fun body weight burnout. <sighs> A little interval we're going to do twice and then we're all done our awesome core day, day number six. <sighs> all right, let's give it 85 more seconds. We'll start on the other side. So now dumbbell goes with my left hand, crunching to my right. <sighs> Take that nice deep breath before we start. All right, ready. Arm is out. Ready, lean. Step, oh sorry, other side, lean some more, and step back, crunch, lean, step, lean it back, reach for the opposite foot, and back, crunch, stretch, step, stretch some more, and crunch, there's three, ready, step, stretch, breathe out, four, and one more, lean, step, lean more, and crunch. Nice, you guys. Good. Dumbbell down on the floor. <sighs> All right, working that oblique and inner outer thigh here. Ready, lift, cross over, try to touch the floor, squeeze the inner thigh here. Lift and crunch to the shoulder. Now extend as soon as you can. Up and over, up, shoulder. Extend, up, over, up. 
the shoulder. There is three. Extend up, over, up, shoulder. Last one. Up and over, up and crunch. Good work, you guys. Hit that dumbbell in the middle. Ready? Opening on the right elbow here. Side one. Open to the right. Up and down. Side stretch, open lift, and down. Try to find stability in that side plank with the weight. And down, two more. Over, open, up, and down. Last one, over, open, up, and down. Good work, you guys. All right, we got one more set on side number two. I'm a little bit nervous about those intervals. They are going to burn. We're gonna fully cook, finish up that core with that last sequence that we're gonna do. But don't let us psych you out, it's gonna be fun. All right, grab that dumbbell. Right hand, squeezing on the left. Ready, and lean, step, stretch some more, and crunch. Lean, step, lean some more, and crunch. There's four, one more, and five. Nice dumbbell down for a second. Hands and knees on the floor. Five big ones here. Ready? Lift, cross, lift, crunch, extend up and over. Up and crunch, looking good. Extend up and over, up and crunch. Try not to let the elbows bend here. Up and over, up and crunch. Last one, extend up and over, up and crunch. And down, perfect. Dumbbell in the middle, opening up to the left here. Five big ones. And now we're done with the dumbbell. Ready? One. Open on the left. Reach up. Stabilize. And down. Stretch. Squeeze. Lift. Stabilize. And down. Looking good. seconds and we're gonna start. It's gonna be five exercises in our circuit here. We're gonna be working our front, our back, a little bit of oblique, a little bit of everything, but the last exercise is gonna be done slow to get that nice full squeeze after working pretty quick for the first four. All right, so let's go over it together before we start. 30 seconds per exercise, except the last one will be for reps. We're gonna be in a plank here on our hands. We're gonna go slow, under and across, one per side, and then four fast. One, two, three, four. Okay, for 30 seconds. After that, we're gonna be on our stomach. We're gonna do Superman. Pull into oblique crunch to the side. Put your arms out, and imagine you're sending that leg over to the other side to stretch out, countering out what we just worked on, and then we'll do the other side. After that, we're gonna sit on our butt, do some slow windshield wipers with a tight crunch, in the middle, and then we're gonna really find a nice burn through our bicycle twist with opposite arm and leg snapping into those one leg V-sits, and then we'll finish with a nice flat crunch to slow it down and squeeze it up. All right, starting in five seconds. One slow per side, four fast cross climbers. Ready, and go. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, Almost there. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, and time. Nice. Ooh, one down, four to go. Ten seconds. Break. We start with the Superman side crunch. 
scorpion. Five seconds. Take a deep breath. Ready? And breathe in. Pull. Breathe out. Side crunch. Arms out. Take that leg over and stretch. And back. Other way now. Up. And pull. Side crunch. And back. Stretch it out. And back. One more per side here. Up. And back. Side crunch. And back. Over. And down. Ready? Up. And back. Side crunch. Arms out. Scorpion. And relax. <sighs> Alright, sitting on our butt. Windshield wiper with the straight legs. Bend them if you need to. I want you to try to bring them as close to your stomach as you can, flexing your heels out and getting a nice stretch through our back as we squeeze. Five seconds here. Hands on the floor, sitting up as high as we can. Ready and go up and over and over. guys. Almost there. And time. Nice. Good work. Alright, so we're doing five bicycle twists. After five, we straighten out. We do two quick snap. One, two. Straight arm and leg. Then we start on the other side. This one is going to be the doozy of the set. So swing your arm as much as you need but try to get a lot of movement done through our core, through our abs. We don't want to swing too much. All right, starting in three, two, one, and bicycle twist. One, two, three, four, five, extend. One, two, other side. One, two, three, four, five, extend. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and time. There's 30 inch. Oh, wow. Alright. Legs out flat, lying down. We're doing two per size. This will take longer than 30 seconds. We're gonna keep our core engaged the whole time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Roll up, 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 up. And breathe in from here, breathe out, full to the side, and come down slow, all the way down, breathe in. Breathe out, crunch, up, up, up again, feel that full, breathe in. Breathe out, full to the other way, try to turn your shoulders right over, and come down, unrolling at the bottom, one more per side, breathe in. Breathe out, roll, up, 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 full. Breathe in, breathe out, crunch, fall to the first way, roll it down, nice and slow, breathing in, one more, breathe in, and breathe out, roll it up, breathe in, and pull to the side, and come down, untwist at the bottom, and take a second, good work you guys, huh. alright, looking good. Let's do a 20 second break here, and then one more set. Ten more seconds. So two cross climbers, slow, and then four fast. Keeping a nice rhythm through the whole 30 seconds. It's our last set. Let's crush it. Ready, and go. Slow, slow. One, two, three, four, slow, slow. One, two, three, four, slow, slow. One, two, three, four, keep it up. Crunch. One, two, three, four, crunch, crunch. One, two, three, four, crunch, crunch. One, two, three, four, crunch, crunch. One, two, three, four, and time. Huh, I really look forward to the Superman Scorpions. Starting in six seconds. Oh, they just feel so good after that. All right, ready, and lift. 
and pull, side bend, crunch, back to the middle, arms out, now take that side over, stretch, and back, ready, up, and back, side bend, crunch, and back, arms out, over, and back, let's do one more per side here, ready, up, and back, side bend, crunch, and open, over, and back, last one, up, and back, side bend, crunch, arms out, and open, and relax. All right, we got this. Three more exercises, windshield wipers, and then the bicycle twist with the opposite arm leg, snappy V-sit, and then we slowly finish up Put some tender love and care into our abs, and we're all done. All right, ready, hands on the ground, and let's do it. Windshield wiper, over, over, over. You can try to look away from the movement, and you get more crunch as you come up. Almost there. Two more. And down. Good work, you guys. All right. 15 second break, and we finish it. This one is a complete monster. Five seconds. Ready? Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, extend. One. Two, one, two, three, four, five, one, 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 two, one more, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and down. Wow. All right. Let's finish up these slow crunches, you guys. <sighs> Try to make them look just like the first set here, just like we're totally fresh. We haven't just done 45 minutes of abs and core. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out, roll up and fold. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, twist and down, unroll all the way to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll it up, 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 crunch, breathe in, and fold to the side, now slow, and breathe in, one more per side, breathe out, roll up, 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 full, breathe in, and breathe out, twisty crunch, on the roll to the bottom, and breathe in, breathe out, fold up, up, fold, and up, Twist, crunch down to the side, and unroll all the way down. Nice, you guys, good work. All right, sitting up, take a couple breaths. All right, you guys, awesome job with that today. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you feel an awesome burn and squeeze through our core and working through every part of it too. It's super important. We have functional, very strong and mobile core uh, to help us stay safe with any activities we end up doing too. The most important part of our body for injury prevention, for feeling awesome, is everything connecting our top and bottom uh, and that's all gonna be through our center, through our core. So, our body is just a machine and we wanna practice making it feel like a machine by practicing through repetition and some of these movements are gonna help us a lot with that too. So, have some fun, make sure you subscribe, please give this video a like, uh, let me know what your favorite part of the challenge has been so far, day one through six, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow. We're gonna do an awesome stretch, super important that we hit that before we go back to that body uh, to make sure that we're staying loose and staying flexible and staying safe with our workouts too. So, enjoy the sunshine. I will see you guys later, and good work.